Hello, welcome back for another unboxing video. It is my monthly TFAW shipment where I get my pre-orders in. Usually it's whatever I have on my pull list or any variant covers I may want. Sometimes there's pop figures in there. I'm gonna try to go through this really quickly for two reasons. One, it's summer and it's hot. My air conditioning is right above where my camera is. So I wanna get this done really quickly so I can turn it back on. If I have it on, the audio is gonna be horrible. And two, I have a pizza and I would like to get to it very quickly. I just got off work. So, let's see what I got. Now if I recall, this is a little bit of a pricier pre-order I got because I ordered a variant cover on here. Not a typical variant cover, but this was a little bit more, ah, here we go. It was a Marvel one, uh, a limited run. Okay. And of course, as always, they always include the little packing list. They mark off everything, which I always find is a nice touch by them. Okay, and this is what, this first comic I got in here, this is what really bumped up how much I paid. This is Multiple Man number one, variant edition, the Johnson variant, right here. That was a really cool cover, and I'm a big fan of Multiple Man. I've always liked the concept of him being able to have, you know, clones, well, I guess not clones, but dupes of himself with different personalities and that when they combine back together or converge, all the information is relayed back to him. So I always thought there's so much more they could have done with that character, you know, psychologically. Yeah, okay. Of course, Ms. Marvel 31. Always getting this oversized 50th issue spectacular. All right. Oh, okay. Wow, there's a lot of people who wrote on this. G. Willow Wilson, obviously, Rainbow Roll, um, some others. I may have to get, try to see about getting all these names signed on here. That'd be interesting. Okay, what else is on here on my list? Ah, my two Quantum and Woody comics. And of course, if you follow Quantum and Woody, you know that they have a standard cover and they have a variant cover, which is very similar to a lot of the 90s stuff where they purposely are going overboard, which I'll show you the regular cover first. Quantum and Woody. And this is their variant. Notice, you know, the shine, and if you can't really see from here, but it's embossed. You see, right there, it's embossed. Just like a lot of the 90s covers for pretty much any series. Oh, okay. I'll get to that one a little bit. Next is Thor number one. Was this a variant cover or just, no, this is just standard. Okay, this is just a standard cover. It's still pretty nice. It's, I believe, yeah, it's Del Mundo. Jason Aaron, you know, I loved what he had done back with Thor, God of Thunder, and that's what really got me to be a fan of Jason Aaron, and that's what started to get me to read Thor. Before that, I never really saw the point of Thor. I just was a big, you know, long, blonde hair buff guy with a hammer you know didn't really do anything for me he bored me even in the movies he's like mildly entertaining but the way he wrote the god butcher storyline was incredibly well done so i thought i'd keep following in one of the things i liked about this that made me pick it up is i noticed the different hammers so i'd really like to note the story and i love that they're keeping continuity how thor lost his arm and if you follow the God Butcher story arc, and they have King Thor in the future, he's missing his arm. And that all occurred before he lost his arm back in, I can't remember what storyline it was, but it wasn't too long ago. Okay. Okay, here's another comic. Uh, I'm trying to remember why I got it. I believe it was because it was by Image, and it was, ah, the cover artist, that's why. Okay, I'm going to have to partially censor this. A natural number one, uh, the Mike Manara cover. Mike, not Mike, Milo Manara. Manara? Manara? Anyways. He's mostly known for doing erotica and some adult oriented material. There was a lot of controversy with him a few years back when he did the variant cover for Spider Woman number one, which had her in a rather suggestive pose. A lot of the controversy arose because of the type of art he's known for. And because the comic was being geared towards women and it was a launching point. 
So when she was on the cover, very overly sexualized, and she was in a rather compromising pose, people took offense to it. Now the other one you can't see the cover to because it comes polybagged. Sex criminal, yeah, got a message. Sex criminals, and I tend to get their variant covers, and this is a Scotty Young one. And if it's like every other variant they send, it's gonna have nudity. Let's see if I can show this, or if it's if it's too much for me to blur out. My trusty knife. Always cut away from yourself. And I love the little inserts they always put on here. For mature readers. Duh. I'm sure whatever Scotty did for this cover is very tasteful, so go ahead and buy it. Just trust me. Okay. Yeah, and that says on, on the back as well. For mature readers, duh. Very cool to get the 25 issues on such a flimsy premise. <laughs> Alright, let's see... Okay. Oh. Ow. Oh. All right. Yeah, at first glance, the cover doesn't look bad until there's like two little details I'm going to have to cover up with my hands. If you look, Matt Fraction and Chip Zdarsky. Chip Zdarsky is holding um, what appears to be a giant dildo. And they are on a mountain into a waterfall, and you can pretty much guess what it's shaped like. A rocket. So, I won't be able to show that. Yeah, that's my monthly shipment from TFAW, Things From Another World. They're a company that's out of Portland. What's nice about them is that you can pre-order items up to, mm, I think it's like three, maybe four months in advance. But what's really good is say there's a few items that come out the first week of the month and the majority of your other items on your pull list come out at the end of the month. Now instead of getting two different shipments you know of your items from the beginning of the month and one from the last you can have your settings so that you can ship every one week, two weeks, three weeks, or four weeks so that and this is what I do every four weeks whatever I pre-order for the span of four weeks they just save it until it's time to ship it and they ship it all together. So I'm trying to think like for example, I don't know when these came out, let's say Thor came out at the beginning of last month. And Quantum and Woody came out the second week. And Ms. Marvel the following week and Multiple Man the last week and so on and so on. This saves dramatically on shipping, especially if you're just getting one or two things per week. And with me, this was about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight items. Now can you imagine, you know, four or five dollars each time it's shipped, two, three different shipments, that's $15 more to pay. So, anyways, if you don't have a local comic shop, I highly recommend that you go on to tfaw.com, thingsfromanotherworld.com. They have incredibly good customer service. They're friendly, the shipments, they're pretty fast. Rarely have I had an issue. I think I've only had an issue with them twice out of five or six years, and they've always been able to resolve it. Anything I've pre-ordered, it's came in with the exception of maybe two things. One was something just it was out of stock, and one other item, it's currently right now Domino number one is on back order. Hopefully that comes in, but as I'm hearing, that's really hard to get in anywhere, especially since Deadpool two came out. So everyone's trying to jump it on that bandwagon, cash in, yeah, gotta be on the ground floor for that money. Anyways, thanks for tuning in, and hopefully I could do these a little bit more often and. If I get any more unboxing videos or anything else to open, I could share with you. So, thank you for watching.